finally, let me look at international action, by which I mean beyond the EU. We witnessed a number of successful initiatives in the field of international cooperation regarding cybersecurity. The European Convention on Cybercrime and the European Convention for the Prevention of Terrorism uh, un adopted under the auspices of the Council of Europe are good examples of a beginning. These treaties are not only pan-European, 47 European states, that is of the Council of Europe, uh, are currently members and is also open to non-European countries. It has been ratified by the United States. Canada, Japan, and Africa have signed the Convention on Cybercrime. More than 100 countries worldwide use it as a guideline for developing legislation. The willingness of a country to be bound by the European Convention on Cybercrime almost serves as a litmus test for a country's preparedness to cooperate in this field. And thus, uh, in this light, it is uh, highly regrettable that Russia, which has fronted various international legal initiatives, is not a party to this convention. There are those who say that the framework, as it stands, is underdeveloped, that adequate protection is not attainable without additional restrictions. On the other hand, there are those who maintain that no additional regulations are required and who advance the notion of an informal or self-regulating framework. For after all, the very purpose of the internet is to dismantle ob obstacles to free exchange, not to encumber. And here we face, I think, the same kind of conundrum that we face in all kinds of areas have traditionally regarding individual rights and freedoms versus the need for security. For a country that is highly dependent upon free exchange of information and because of its past history, certainly Estonia could in no way more intellectual input than we have had up till now. And that's what I hope to see, hope to see in the European Union in the coming years far more intellectual efforts in this field. So finally, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to underscore again the role of human resources in all arenas as being central to our task. Currently, we cannot unfortunately deny that in the ICT sector, the bad guys outnumber the good guys, both in the public and private sector. So that's why I'm glad to see so many good guys in the hall today. But as it stands, there are not enough of you. I hope that our, all of our efforts to raise public awareness, to reach cooperative solutions, will serve to bolster and enlarge our ranks.